Welcome to today's exciting video where I'm going to show you what is probably one of the best gifts that you could give yourself or somebody who's truly into skincare. I have 24 products to review. Yes, 24. This video is in collaboration with Stylevana and Stylevana is where I purchase a lot of my Asian skincare and beauty products. Stylevana ships worldwide and they were kind enough to send me this gorgeous advent calendar to review. All the product details for what I'm going to review will be listed in the description box below and you can use my code for 10 to 15% off your purchase. Of course this advent calendar is only around for a limited time only so if you're interested I would put an order in quickly because it will be a first come first serve basis and I'm sure they'll sell out. When this arrived, I was so excited to see what was in it. It is large, and the reason is because the products in each day are full-sized products. You can purchase the products that are in this box individually, of course, off the Stylevana website, but by purchasing it this way in the advent calendar, you're saving about 47.5% off the cost of what it would cost you to purchase all of these individually. This advent calendar is priced at $209.99 US dollars. In drawer number one, you can see how easily the drawers pull out. I won't pull out all the drawers, but just so you get the gist. And then the product is gently placed with a little bit of tissue paper in the box. It's just really well packaged and, and really well done. So in box number one is the Pure Derm Vegan Under Eye Mask with Collagen. This is a biodegradable fabric which aims to give hydration and softening ingredients to the delicate skin under your eye area. This has really hydrating ingredients in it including glycerin, aloe leaf extract and centella asiatica to really soothe and calm the skin. The only issue I had with it is I had a hard time peeling apart the separate eye patches. In fact, initially I think I accidentally put three on one go. So be very careful when you're pulling them apart is my advice. In the second box is the Sun By Me AHA BHA PHA 30 Days Miracle Cream. I was very interested to try this product because I've heard a lot of great things about it. And if you want to glow to your skin, this product is it. I love the combination of the three types of exfoliants in here. This cream is really a lovely way to hydrate and exfoliate. There's tea tree leaf water in here as well as Centella Asiatica, which is actually the first ingredient in the ingredient list. So that goes to show you that they really put a lot of effort to make this very calming and soothing, and it helps to manage for me my rosacea and acne breakouts. So this was a real winner for me. I really like this product. In box number three is Bonajour's Mugwort Cream Calming Mask. I love using mugwort mass and as an ingredient mugwort is really great to calm and soothe the skin as well as deliver hydrating benefits to your skin. It applies very well to the skin and you actually feel it tingling as it starts to sit on the skin. I apply my masks immediately after cleansing and toning, usually let them sit on for about 20 minutes and then rinse away, balance with another toner and then continue on with the rest of my skincare routine. I didn't find this one as strong a tingling sensation as the I'm from mugwort mask if you're familiar with that one but I got a really good result from this I always find when I use a mugwort mask when I remove it from my face I just feel really balanced and for any kind of inflammation is immediately calmed and soothed so I typically like to do a mugwort mask as often as once a week but definitely once every two weeks box number four is Peslo's Panther Recipe Panthenol and Ceramide Cream. Now, I was really interested to try this because the Peslo Mineral Sunscreen is one of my favorite mineral sunscreens. So I was really anxious to try this one. This is a ceramide cream, so it's really good for barrier repair. As you know, with my skin, have I mentioned my skin type? I'll show you to you right here. My skin being very sensitive and rosacea prone, ceramides in my moisturizers is a really great way to ensure my skin barrier stays intact. In addition to the panthenol and ceramides in this, there's also a pine bark extract, which actually I think is responsible for giving it a little bit of that scent. There's niacinamide in this, which helps to control redness and brighten your skin, as well as a rosemary leaf extract and so much more. My skin really loves this product. In the next box is a little bit of makeup. We have a blush palette here. This is from I Meme, a champagne party palette called Afternoon Tea. This color palette just generally works on my skin tone. I'm wearing it now, if you can tell. I don't tend to go very heavy on blush, so you can see for today I chose to use this color with this one as the highlighter, and I think it's really pretty. Box number six is a little bit more makeup. This one is a lip tint. This is ROM and ND's. 
Juicy Lasting Tint in the color Fig or 06. It's a great product. It applies really easily to the skin, gives a beautiful color, and I found it quite lasting throughout the day as well. Box number seven is the VT Cosmetics Sika and Care Spot Patch. So this is for those little nasty pimples that you get. Uh, I'm not sure if this would work on a really big type of, of pimple. I use this, I generally break out on my forehead. Um, well, I'll get flare-ups when my rosacea flares up as well, but I get hormonal acne around my chin. And that's really what I was using these for. They're very small little patches that you can see here. Once my nighttime skincare routine has completely dried, I will apply one of these to the spot and leave it there overnight. And when you take it off in the morning, you'll see that it's greatly reduced, if not gone, depending on the size of the pimple that you have. Next up is a little bit more makeup for box number, what are we on? Eight? This is a liquid liner from McQueen New York and it's a waterproof eyeliner. This is really waterproof. In fact, you definitely need a double cleanse to remove this in the evening. I am just not good at doing a beautiful, lovely wing, so I would have loved to have illustrated that for you today, but I would have looked like I was going out for Halloween. So I opted not to do that and show you how I do use this product, which is as a tight line around my eyes. So it's probably hard for you to see here, but I really love this liner. It goes on really easily. I'm not making too many mistakes with it. And I can imagine if you're a makeup person that knows how to do a fabulous wing, you're gonna love this product. And also, could you comment below to try and teach me how to do it? Cause I have just absolutely given up on the wing. Box number nine was this, the Sioris Deep In Barrier Cream. This is another ceramide cream, and I have to say, I have dehydrated skin that I've been really focusing on in my skincare routines as of late. And I find when I really focus on the hydration in my skincare routine, it helps to eliminate a lot of the other problems I have. It applies as a very thick layer onto the skin, but it does sink in very beautifully. Sioris's ethos is to really use freshly sourced seasonal ingredients to make their products. There are plant derived ingredients in here that are really meant to soothe and calm irritated skin. Also love that it has an airless pump in order to keep the formulation inside really intact. It has a very earthy scent to it. It doesn't bother me, but it doesn't leave on the skin that earthy scent. It dissipates very quickly. Box number 10 is the Make Prem Soothing Physical Sunscreen SPF 50 PA++++. This one is a hybrid sunscreen and it's formulated with zinc. Unfortunately, I've reviewed this product before and it just doesn't work for my skin. Both times that I tried this really made my cheeks red and irritated. So I can't recommend this one because it didn't work for me, but I know lots of people love this product. The pink version from Make Prem, however, has calamine in the formulation and it really worked for my skin. But I do know that there are many, many people who love this product. Box number 11 is by Skin1004, and this is their Madagascar Centella Ampoule. It is so gorgeous and so luxurious. The packaging is just so high-end, it just feels bougie. This uses a pure form from the Madagascar region, and Centella Asiatica as an ingredient has just been so useful for my rosacea-prone skin. It's really something I look for in a lot of my ingredients, and I'm happy to say there's many products in this box that include Centella Asiatica. It's almost like the ingredient of 2021. So I was pretty sure that I was going to enjoy incorporating this ampoule into my routine, and happy to say that I do. Box 12 is the Cosrx Ultimate Nourishing Rice Overnight Spa Mask. I've already used this product for about a year or so, so I was happy to see it in this box because I really love this product. I apply it as the last step in my nighttime skincare routine and leave it as a leave-on mask overnight, and then you can rinse it away in the morning. It has wonderful ingredients like niacinamide for brightening your skin, glycerin for hydration, sunflower seed oil. I find when I wake up, my skin feels nicely hydrated and smooth. Box 13 has the Fruitia My Orchard Shea Butter Hand Cream, plus there were four other samples by Fruitia in the box. Basically sample size serums, including a blueberry hydrating toner, a blueberry hydrating serum, a green grape pore control cream, and a pomegranate nutri moisturizing cream. Of course I tried all of those, but there was only a sample so I could only try it once. This however, I did not like, and there's only one reason I didn't like it. And it's that, the smell. It's really off-putting for me and my family members that came into contact with me after I put this on. I had one person comment that it smelled like a bathroom. I'm sorry, Frutia. 
and I actually had a hard time getting it off my hands. So it took a good 10 washes of my hands to remove it. So I would say based on that, if you like the scent, it's nice and long lasting, but I just couldn't get past it with this one. Box 14 is the Beauty of Josen. I am just loving Beauty of Josen so far. Everything I've tried from this brand I've liked, I have yet to come across something that I haven't liked yet. So this one is the Ginseng Essence Water. This beautiful product features ginseng, which acts as an antioxidant and works great as a skin balancer. There's also glycerin and panthenol and other hydrating ingredients in here. And I use this essence in both my morning and evening skincare routines. And so far, loving it just as much as I love their other products. Box 15 is the Petifi Black Pearl and Gold Hydrogel Eye Patches. There are 60 eye patches in the container, which is wonderful because it can be used for a long period of time. I use them immediately after cleansing and toning and leave them on for about 20 minutes. With these, when I take them off my eyes, I'm sure to pat any excess serum into the skin before I carry on with the rest of my routine. This product features pearl powder, colloidal gold, snail mucin, collagen Q10, ginseng extract, green tea, bamboo, amongst other things. So there's a lot packed into these little gel hydro patches. I really like them. In box six we have some more makeup here we have the Clio Pro Eye Palette in brown shoe number 02 these tones tend to really suit my skin tone and I'm wearing this makeup right now the colors are really easy to blend and while my expertise tends to be more on skincare I'm just not very good at makeup I really love the palette so far in box 17 we have Karingo's peach whipping tone up cream this is such a beautiful peach scent of course it features peach and it has a lot of flower extracts in it unfortunately it didn't work well on my face but the ingredients in this product are really meant to brighten the skin it has niacinamide in as well as lots of plant extracts and so while it wasn't good on my face I've been using it on my hands I keep it at my desk for work so that I have it to apply throughout the day and not only does it smell great I'm, ge I'm getting those benefits of brightening the skin especially on the backs of my hands so for those of you that struggle with age spots having something like this as a hand cream would be really good Box 18 is the Essentree Green Tea Fresh Toner. I've been using this product for well over a year, so this isn't new to me. So I can tell you from extensive experience with it, I love this toner. This product features green tea, which is a great antioxidant for the skin, and so many other fabulous ingredients, including Centella Asiatica, again, willow bark extract that really is soothing and calming for the skin. And I use it immediately after cleansing as my toner, which really hydrates and preps my skin for the next steps in my skincare care routine. Love it. Box 19 is the Ionic Tea Tree Relief Serum. I was excited to try this because again I had heard lots of great things about this serum but hadn't personally tried it myself. I love using products that have tea tree extracts in them because they really help to balance and soothe the skin. This worked really well on my skin and I turn to it when I have an acne or a rosacea flare-up because I think it does a really good job to soothe and calm the inflammation. So who doesn't love a good foot cream? This is Box 20. It's Farm Stays Lemon Intensive Moisture Foot Cream. I just love lemon scent moisturizers for my body and especially my feet now I tend to take good care of my feet I exfoliate regularly I moisturize absolutely daily so I don't really have dry and cracked heels but that's what this product really aims to do is to soften and smooth really rough and, and cracked heels so I, my baseline was pretty good to start but I have to say I use this product immediately coming out of the shower and it does act like a great moisturizer for my feet and I really love the scent. Box 21 is another favorite of mine which is the Hamish All Clean Balm. I've used this for many many months. What I like about this product is it comes actually with a little spatula in the lid which is a nice touch. I use this product as the first step in my double cleansing routine. So this one is really targeting removing all of the dirt and makeup, sunscreen, impurities, everything off of my face first, and then I go in with a hydrating cleanser after that to round out that double cleanse. I think using this as the first step in your double cleanse combined with another cleanser of your choice really helps to prep your skin for all the next steps in your evening skincare routine, which are so important before going to bed. Box 22 is another lip tint and I'm wearing it right now. This is the 3CE Style Nanda Velvet Lip Tint. It glides on really beautifully and you can see it has more or less a matte finish on the skin, I should say, on the lips. Good lasting power with this one too and I just love lip tints. Box 23, we're getting close to the end here. This is the Belle Plain Greenful pH Balance Cleansing Foam. Now, I'm usually cautious and 
steer away from foam type cleansers in general because my skin is so sensitive I tend to just beeline it for hydrating cleansers. However this cleanser star ingredient is mung bean extract which is an extract that's really meant to purify and detoxify your skin while maintaining the moisture levels in your skin. There are a lot of flower, fruit, and root extracts in the formulation as well as hydrating ingredients as well so there's a lot packed into this little bottle. For this I apply a small amount into the palms of my hands and really work it in my hands first before applying it to my face and then massage it into my skin and then rinse it off. I'm happy to say there was no irritation with this one. I had no problem using this and in fact I really like it as a cleanser. And now we're at box 24, the last one. This is Purito's Centella Green Level Eye Cream. While I typically don't go for moisturizing creams for around my eyes because I can usually get the same ingredients in my actual moisturizer if I want to just carry it up and put it around my eyes. But that being said, I really did like this cream. I use this a lot in my morning routine. It actually, the ingredients in it, of course, there's Centella Asiatica, again, that really calms and soothes the skin and also has this scent to it that just... I find is very invigorating. So I felt like in the morning it really woke up my eyes, helps to moisturize and set my skin so that I'm not dealing with cakey concealer. That's really when I try to focus on the hydration around my eyes. It tingles a little bit when you're applying it to the skin and that's due to the high concentration of Centella in the formulation. But like I said, it's one of my favorite ingredients so I love it in here and I think this did a really good job with the hydration factor of my eyes. I hope you enjoyed this review of 24 products and this fabulous fabulous advent calendar. Thank you so much to Style Vanna for sending it to me for this review. I've really enjoyed testing out these products on my skin. Be sure to also watch this video on my K-Beauty faves and fails. Take care and have a fabulous day.